welcome back so i've changed the the angling a little bit so it looks more like a, a cool podcast episode shout out youtube for sending me this light bro is this light is clean thanks for sending the light i appreciate it let me take a sip of my my uh, scream can you feel me for dramatic effect <laughs> ding it's full <laughs> This is week six. So week five video is out already. Go check that out. Week five's video really just details like, okay, I can walk without the boot in the house and things like that. And this will be week two out of the boot and physical therapy. I have it tomorrow, which is Saturday at about 11 a.m. Um, and there's gonna be some more exercises. So to outline the week and how it's gone so far, I went on my vacation. It was a ton of walking. What is you trying to do? What is you trying to do? I know I smell good, bro. I just hopped out the shower, bro. The week, so Monday, well, Sunday through Wednesday, I had my vacation, a lot of walking. Uh, my physical therapist had recommended using my ankle brace for ankle sprains to support the ankle. That worked just fine. But as soon as I got off the plane and got home and took the ankle brace off, I could walk semi-normal without the limp just because I had a lot of practice walking for this past week. I massaged it um, after day and night one of vacation, which was technically Monday. A lot of walking in the park, hurt a lot. The outfit was fire though. I'll, I'll probably put the outfit here. I get home and this is the package waiting for me. Again, shout out YouTube for all the support and all that and helping your boy get paid and also for the cool like memorabilia it's a cool light where's my plaque at so i have my post-op appointment next week it'll be thursday the 29th at that appointment they'll just go over like how you doing how's pt things like that and checking like make sure it's not healed long it's definitely not healed long because i wake up in the morning i still don't have full range of motion or any extra range of motion it's kind of just like there i've been doing my seated calf raises i did not do them for the past four days because i was on my vacation i didn't want to overdo it do the exercises and then do the banded flexion and the next thing i know like i i do too much because of all the walking as well so i didn't do it then i did do it last night the banded flexion the seated raises i did it all day today three times i've done my seated calf raises i'll do my flexion after i record this video and then i'll just chill relax i'll do a massage before i go to bed and things like that so that's how that'll go i've been able to drive obviously I've been able to walk semi without a limp like there's still a little bit of hitch at the end because the tendon is still kind of tight we haven't gotten into stretches yet um, and the strength really isn't there for me to push off of it like when you walk normal you kind of push off a little bit that strength's not there on my right foot yet because i've only been out the boot two weeks it's my first two weeks walking without any assistance or support um so yeah it is a little bit challenging but for the most part um it's been great progress slow progress is better than no progress really no pain soreness only in the morning when it tightens back up but yeah it's it's been an interesting process and the progress has been it hasn't been slow like I, i've been enjoying the getting better so i physical therapy tomorrow it's only gonna be a one-week session because it would have been too much to try to do physical therapy two days in a row like to like today and tomorrow and I had my vacation the first few days of the month so it just would have been too much now in terms of hopping back on the court again March will be when I can play competitively I'll be able to more intensively train folks when I'm able to run which will be in a few months whenever I'm able to do a single leg uh, calf raise I'll be able to run no before you ask the question I am not a UT fan I just happen to live near I live like almost equidistant from <laughs> UT and Texas State so Texas State is 10 minutes south and UT is like 20 minutes north. I'm like right in the middle of both. Um, but I'm not a fan. This is just a shirt I got at the airport because why not? It should be interesting going forward. I did just come from the gym, which is the earlier part of this video. I tried to do upper body, but since I'm detrained, like my muscular endurance is like zero. Just no lo lower body yet. I haven't been cleared by my physical therapist. She's also, I think she also has her doctorate in uh, physiology and sports medicine and science. So um, I'm going to go ahead and trust what she says. The only thing I will say about the exercises though, like the banded flexion, and the seated calf raises remember i haven't used those muscles in almost two months so doing the seated calf raises as soon as i get to the peak where my you have your soleus which is the lower portion which is behind your shin behind the lower part of your shin right above your your heel and ankle and you have your gastrocnemius which is the the fatty portion right the part everybody wants to grow as soon as i get to the full contraction which is my gastrocnemius it feels like it's going to cramp and that's just simply because the muscle kind of just small amounts of atrophy but the muscle is also very weak now like there's not really a huge 
huge size difference, but it's weak. So that's where I'm at with that. Now the shoe thing is just dependent on what's comfortable to you and your scar. So leading up to my vacation, so last week, I really could only wear my Nike trainers, the black and white shoes I normally wear. Um, right before my vacation, I was like, hey, let me wear let me wear my green work shirt. Let me wear my green Kyrie's. Let me go to the court, shoot some free throws in the green Kyrie's, see how it feels. They felt fine because they were kind of a lower cut. Anything that's a mid cut kind of was not comfortable because it, it lingered on that scar a little too much and rubbed towards the bottom where the skin is still kind of thin, but it's healed. On my vacation, I wore my LeBron 20s because they have good Achilles padding. Only problem is the, the cushion inside is really not great. So my heels were hurting. That's about it though. No, no super pain to the, the tendon or the muscles around it, just the heel because I haven't really done that heel toe transition in a while without a booze. But the shoes, I would recommend you consult a podiatrist. I work with a podiatrist, um, but that's pretty much it as an update. It's a really short video because now it's just getting into physical therapy and the updates and the exercises and things like that. Um, and the nutrition has also been better since I'm able to work out now. I actually might make a smoothie in a little bit, to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it as an update. Again, shout out everybody who's been supporting along the Achilles journey. It's been a long one. I know y'all want to see me hoop, but like I, I really I, I literally can't like it's been like the second time I wanted to like hoop but I couldn't first was during the pandemic I had to train my brother play my brother kind of stay in shape and then as soon as I get back out and I can play one 1v1 and train and things like that my Achilles tears and it's to no fault of my own it's just like a previous injury that my my previous doctor my orthopedist told me hey you're fine and it wasn't fine and so now I have a torn Achilles that I have to work back up to I don't resent the man I just won't go back to him but I like my new orthopedist. And then now, like, I can't play till March. So it's, it's just one thing after another. But that's life, am I right? Inside joke there. So shout out YouTube for the light. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting and paying ya bye. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This has been the update for this week. Peace. Let me drink some more of this, bro. What the? Ooh. Think I need a little, a little something stronger. Yeah.